How the heck are you, everybody? I am Pastidious, and welcome back to Dragonair Silent Gods. We have such a good video today. It's going to be my favorite one so far, no question. We are doing a bunch of summons. I'm going to make an alliance, aka a guild, so any of you guys playing that have joined alongside with me, and if you want to, use the link that I provide in the top pinned comment in the description, and you can join Dragonair. Download it today. Available on Steam, Epic Games, Mobile, PC, all that good stuff. Mitchell, have that just flying all around me. But if you have joined the game or you are planning to and you want to be in my alliance, we'll do that in just one second. And then we are going to have my three essential tips. I know I did in the last video, but I keep learning more. So I'm just going to keep having another, another, something like that. So now we've got another three essential tips for beginner progression in Dragonair. So here we are on my account. Let's go to the events. I know where all the buttons are now. That's pretty fun. If we go all the way to the bottom to daily check and you can see we are at the end of day six already we're coming up on the end of our first week and i really think i have some amazing stuff i can teach you guys before we do that we have a bunch of summons to do we have 50 50 starlight die we have got four heliolite die pretty awesome stuff can be a hell of an episode so let's make that alliance i'm sacrificing one summon one heliolite die summon to make this alliance so we can all play together let me go over here the reason i say i'm sacrificing it is because the price to make an alliance is 350 virmaro aka the premium currency and that is the the price of buying one of the premium summons, right? Of the Heliolite die from the thing. So let's go to Create Alliance. I already thought about it. We're going to call it Guild Stidious. The notice is going to say, Join! <laughs> Limitation, let's say level 10, just so it's people that have been playing for more than a day. Or maybe that's exactly a day. I don't know. Verification, we'll do approval. Limitation, I don't care what you're doing in Arena. That's not what this is all about. Let's go over here. There you go. It's 350 Veer Mero. We got it. Let's create the, the alliance, and here we go. One out of 50 members. So if you want to join me, it's going to be Guild Sidious. You can just look that up. I will also have, if there's a join link, there should be. I will have that in the top pin comment and the description as well. Hope to see you there, right there alongside me. Let's get to summons, let's get to top tips, and let's get into some Dragonair Silent Gods. Fastidious. Fastidious. Hold on a moment. Before we get into the summons, Fasti has something he would like to share with the class. All right, here we are in Dragonair. It is day four. I grinded like insane yesterday and then last night. So if we go over here and we go, oh my God, where is it? This thing, The the obviously we're free to play, but the battle pass, I am 25 travel points away from this. Which is going to be the biggest thing that's happened to us so far in our four days or three and a half days of playing. This is a rare hero selector pack, and with this, we can finally get Sigrid. If you don't know, I'll probably do a guide on Sigrid. Sigrid is the best rare hero in the game, in my opinion. She's certainly going to be the best for my account right now. Big damage, big debuffs, heal block, just amazing, just amazing. So how can I get 25? Well, I've been waiting to get the Horn of Summoning. This will give me 25 daily points. It's the only thing I can really do right now. But that is going to give us the remaining 25 points to get to level 10 and get our Sigrid. So let's go to that horn. Obviously, we're going to pull a, I don't know, a legendary, right? That's what comes from these. That's what always, <laughs> it's always comes from this really amazing feature that I love. Obviously, we'll pick a dwarf. Let's see. I've never rolled over a 15 ever. Uh, obviously, I've only been playing for a minute on this new account. But I've played, on, you know, I've played my other account for a month. You know, I played for, for a little less than a week on the, my first account, so I've put in enough time to be like, all right, I'm never going to get anything besides maybe a rare. So there's Dolad. We don't care about him. What we do care about is freaking Sigrid, baby. Let's go over here. What do we got? Complete one horn summoning. Do not mind if I do. And look at that. That's a rare selector package. All right, Sigrid, Sigrid, Sigrid. Uh, wow, they don't show her affinity or anything. She's poison. I need to know what her face looks like. There she is. Oh, my God. Let's go. Sigrid, baby. Oh my god, I'm hyped. Definitely, I'm going to have to play with her a ton so I can make a guide. But I've been waiting and waiting. I had her on my last account. She's so good. She is a must get. If you don't get lucky enough to pull her early, definitely went on your day four, day three, day five. I don't know how, fa how fast some people can do it. For me, it was day four. I guess most people can do it between day three and day five. Definitely, 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 definitely get Sigrid. She's crazy. I'm going to you know deconstruct one of these guys, maybe Hexandra for now. I'll build her back up. Uh, immediately though so we can get Sigurd up and then we will be I think that will be I'm at Goblin 4 I think that will be the push I need to get Goblin 5 I'm stoked okay so here we go guys we got 48 of these purple starlight die I'm gonna do nine five pulls we will save the three separate ones let's see what we get start off with what is normal in this game we're hitting the rare pity you're guaranteed a rare every five pulls 
I don't know who that is. I, I don't think it's anything special. Let's see what we get now. Double rare, so better than we would have expected. That's Megan. Megan's good, but she is a dupe. Um, I'm not using her currently, but I think we'll probably use her in the future when we need more and more teams. Now we got, okay, our first epic. No idea who this guy is. We'll check after. I have no idea who this guy is. Let's keep going. That's pretty cool. We're ahead of the rates, right? We've so far, we've gotten three rares and, uh, and an epic. Two more rares. That's really good. The rates are fine. I mean, they really recalibrate, recalibrate your expectation in this game. The rates are so terrible. Uh, they really are. Let's go again. All right, back to what we're used to, the rare pity. That's the Estrid lookalike. That is not Estrid. We're freaking ripping them, baby. Let's keep going. Who's it going to be now? Another epic. Let's go. She looks cool. Is she good? I don't know. I never heard of her. If you know, if you're a seasoned player, if you're not a new player, let me know if I'm sleeping on any of these new pulls. Let's go. All right, back to the normal rare pity. We have enough for one more five pull. One more five pull. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Oh, triple rare though. Okay. Again, no idea who any of these guys are. I will learn over time. Uh, all right, not too shabby. He, oh, no, this is our last five pull. Excuse me, I miscounted. And then we we'll finish off with another epic. All right, baby. She looks she looks cool. Let's go check out all those guys right now. All righty, guys. I did promise you 50, 50 starlight die, 50 purple pulls. And obviously, I was five short with those 45. So I was able to scrounge up a few more. I nearly got to be able to do 10 more. You can see we're at nine. Uh, but if you look over here, uh, I was hoping, I did get a couple, but people will send you like these gifts. So definitely here's a side tip, not one of my essential tips, but definitely make sure to add friends. You can claim these. Uh, and sometimes it's like little XP pots, sometimes it's a little gold, but occasionally it is summons. I also played a little bit more, finished some quests to try to get this done. So we're at nine now. And on top of that, we've got two of these uh, Heliolite die, the gold die, the orange die. We'll spend the 700. I think this is a great thing to spend it on and we'll do it on the planar summons. We still have exactly a week left. I'm hoping we can... uh get a bunch of chess pieces. I still have to do my daily fight against the Elminster challenge boss, that dragon. So let's see. However, let's do one more five pull. Then we'll do these two. We'll check in on the new heroes and then we're going to get into the tips. Yeah, man. Game's getting good. The game's getting good. All right, let's start with the five pull. I really want Voresh. He's definitely my most wanted hero. Uh, he's got some damage. He's got some healing and he's a really good debuffer. Oh my God, we hit purple. Come on, please be him. <laughs> this is the free hero we got. But the good news is it's a dupe. So we get the currency that we can use in the, the shop, the artifact shop. So that's something that's gonna be one of my tips, actually. That's pretty sweet. Uh, so this is the what, Iscarian. Was that his name? Uh, we'll go check in a second. But he was one of the free ones. Oh my god, I think Ivy suggested... Wait, I'm not, I think Ivy Lee, uh, Ivy Lee suggested this guy to me. Because I'll tell you right now, Sigrid is amazing, but you need someone that puts out a bunch of debuffs. I think this is the guy. I, and he's he's not a dupe. You can see I didn't get currency. I think this is the guy. I was literally talking to Ivy yesterday. Oh my god, I'm actually pumped. Okay, let's do our planter summons. Uh, we're just going to do four of these. Uh, and I'll actually tell you, if that is the guy, I might stop summoning until April 30th. So there's a little teaser for the giant tip number one that I'm going to have. It's a pretty, pretty huge one. Sorry to make you wait, but it'll be worth it. There you go. Let's do four of these. Uh, hopefully, let's just hit the, the exclusive legendary right away, right? Let's go. What's it going to be? Okay, we got epic. It's just going to be chess pieces. It's just, we got 30 chess pieces though. Okay. I think we've only been getting six at a time. So that puts us at to 51. So we're over 21%, uh, 20% of the way there now. We're also over 21% of the way there. <laughs> I don't know why I said 21. Let's see. So you have a chance to get the chess piece. Oh, at, it was we hit a pity because that was our fifth time doing it. So it's not actually that cool. We were guaranteed on our fifth attempt if we fail to get 30 chess pieces. It's still cool though. That's good to know. But I was I was pretty excited. All right, let's go again. We've only hit, we hit one rare and we've hit chess pieces a bunch of times. So let's see what happens. Can we hit an actual character? It's rare. Who's it going to be? This girl, Dora. What does Dora do? Passive debuff on enemies. Does she put out debuffs? Lightning damage, attack penalty. All right, that's something. She, a little bit. She seems mid. She seems like someone I'm not going to use. Let me know if I'm wrong. We got two more. Come on now. Let's see. Let's see. Gold. I bet. This is what I'm used to, baby. This is what I'm used to. The bad pulls. Garana. She's she's something. She looks like she'd be an artificer or something, right? Uh, look at me with my D&D language. How appropriate. Let's go. Let's go. Gold. It's gold. Hey, we'll take purple. Chess pieces? Oh my god! Thea! She looks really cool. I have no idea who she is, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I really like Frost teams, and Necrosis goes with Frost. Let's see. Invisibility. Guys, let me know if she's good. When taking damage higher than 10% of max HP. All right. Allies under invisibility, so she's some kind of invisibility vibe in her whole thing. Heals the ally with the lowest current HP, and that allies 
and allies under invisibility. So you can run, I guess there's an invisibility comp that you can run around her. Or does she, no, she applies, she herself uh, puts out invisibility and debuff immunity to all ranged allies. Then deals necrotic damage with a chance that goes up to an 85% chance when you skill it up uh, to get heal prohibition. I don't know. Is it AoE? If it's AoE, then maybe it synergizes well with Sigrid, but Sigrid's already an amazing source of heal prohibition. Uh, she doesn't seem bad. You guys let me know. Let's check out the other pulls. Uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy. Uh, let's be pretty quick, though, because I do want to get to those tips because I think they're pretty darn sweet. So let's see. Who do we get? We got a... Uh, not everybody's going to say new because I've been back in here. It's been a few hours. Uh, there's Thea. That's who we just snagged. We got the dupe. It's a Tarian. I don't like him, but the dupe should be pretty good because that's the first dupe epic we've ever gotten. One of the tips I've gotten is dupe epics are good because you get currency. Uh, we got this chick, Estella. What does Estella do? Let's check out the skills quickly. Everyone's a support in this game. Marks the ally with the lowest HP at the start of combat. Increases their received healing and shield by 25%. Okay, so she makes it easier to to get for uh, the the weak one on the, the the weakest link to gain some some shield, some healing. Basically, not die as quickly. Grants debuff immunity and defense up two to one ally. I don't know one ally. We don't we want AOE. We don't want single target for our supports. Cast a spell for six seconds. Grants healing to the hero and the ally with the lowest current HP every 0.2 seconds during this period. I don't think she's good at all. I really don't. We also picked up this guy, Corrin. Uh, is he also a support? No, he's a poison. When an enemy inflicted with poison dies, there's a poison spread, kind of like a poison explosion kind of thing. Seems like if you think of like spider toxin and that poison explosion with with uh, Aracha, if you're coming from Wancho Realms, launches three venomous attacks on the nearest enemy dealing poison damage, setting 5% chance. So he's all about putting out poison. So I think if you need poisons and you need poison explosion uh, and poison spread, he seems like a nice choice. Uh, who else? We picked up one more, did we not? Who am I missing? Uh, this this chick, yes. Uh, Folly. She looks interesting. Uh, so this is about a wild kind of hero. So the wild heroes, uh, good at casting wild magic. Um, cool. I need to learn what that is. Each successful wild check. Let me know in the comments if you know what that is. Uh, by allies, increases the damage of the next hero's basic attack by 60% and makes it wild. Okay, so it, now it's wild. Every <laughs> seven seconds after casting, the number of orange shot by the hero's basic attack is modified to two. So double hitters on the basic. Pretty solid. Deals fire damage to the enemy. Upon successful wild check, the hero casts this skill again upon a random enemy. It can be cast up to three times in a row. Wild performs a check for a basic success rate of 30% upon casting a skill. If successful, increases damage. So wild, you have like this wild chance to deal more damage. I'm guessing there's like a wild comp you can run that she fits well into. Otherwise, she feels niche and not that good. Uh, I'm not too thrilled about any of this. Seems like Thea is the most interesting, but I'm not so blown away. However, however, where's that guy? The one Ivy told me about. Spooky Yuki, where are you at, buddy? This guy. Yes, Letalis. Letalis. We'll call him Letalis. I think he's got some AoE uh, uh, debuffs. When the hero deals damage, 30% chance of inflicting target with attack only. So dealing damage to anyone, that's a good chance to get out debuffs. So single target, but pretty consistent. Uh, deals poison damage to an enemy and it reduces 20% of their ultimate energy. Seems like a cool skill, but not what we're looking for. All right, sweet. This is good. Deals poison damage to enemies within range. This is an AoE that inflicts healing reduction or healing prohibition, but it's a proper AoE. And it's a solid range. I do think this is who Ivy was telling you about. And he's poisoned, so he fits into my fire poison kind of meta team I'm running. Uh, I think he's going to fit right next to Sigrid. I'm going to ask Ivy after this, but I think this is who we were looking for. So I'm kind of thrilled. I am kind of thrilled. Let's get into the tips and let's wrap this thing up. So number one, by far. Is it by far? Maybe actually it's not by far. But it's huge. So this game, the rates are what I, the technical word is, is poopy doopy. They're absolute dog water. They're terrible. Getting, if you want to get legendary heroes, best of luck to you. It's not going to happen. You don't get many Helolite die. And from Starlight die, which to be fair, you get a lot of, you cannot get legendary heroes. 0% chance. Well, on April 30th, that is changing to a 0.2% chance. So a 1 in 500 chance that you can get a legendary from a Starlight die. So the tip is, if you really, really want legendaries, save all your Starlight die. You might be thinking, Fastidious, why didn't you save your Starlight die? Well, you've seen my roster. I didn't even have Letalis. We, we don't even have the rare heroes we need yet. So I needed to summon because I want to progress. I'm not going to sit around waiting for another, what is it, exactly two weeks from today or 15 days from today uh, just for a 0.2% chance. However, if you're in the legendary business, if you're a patient, if you're not trying to progress quickly, I think it's a good shout. I think in the future, we should hold off a lot more. Uh, it's not a big chance, but you do pick these Starlight die up quite quickly it seems like it maybe maybe it's an early game thing you veteran players you let me know i mean the fact that you can be gifted them in the mail like i get them every day at least one from people just sending them to me they seem to drop from daily quests and things like this so 
I think the 0.2% chance is not as brutal as you would think. It's still going to be brutal, but hey, we went from zero to more than zero. So it's an improvement by infinity X because it was freaking zero before. Uh, so we'll take that. Uh, that's kind of huge. So if you're in, if you're dealing in the, the shiny gold business, save for April 30th. I know a lot of people already are. Um, and I thought this was just like a one day event. I think no. What I've been told by the veteran players in the community, it's all changing on April 30th. That's pretty sweet stuff. On to the next thing. This is one I figured out all by myself. I'm sure other people do this, but I think it's pretty good. So if you don't know, you can go over here and I've talked about it in my previous video, but I know not everybody watches all of my videos. Here's Big Fassie, aka MC, my main character. I can change her element. There are three options. She's currently uh, frost. We can make her fire. We could make her lightning. Normally I run her as fire because like I think for early game, you need DPS. She's got a lot of DPS when you have her as fire. This is more of a buffer kind of support. If you want to run like a Frost team, she also fits nicely. However, why did I have her set to Frost? Well, it was all leading up to this moment because when it comes to farming the affinity dungeons, you know, there's the Frost Necrosis dungeon, there's the Poison Fire dungeon, and then there is the, oh my God, do I know this? The Radiance and Lightning dungeon. Look how much I'm learning. Uh, I find it, I can farm level three, stage three of the Frost and Necrosis dungeon. The other ones I can only farm stage two. So I can obviously, when I'm farming on stage three, I can get better resources. I'll show you guys that right now. Uh, let's head over there. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Tempest domain, no flame frost. Duh. The fro of course it's the frost domain. You can see I'm on level four. I have not beaten that yet, but I am able to do, uh, here, come on, let me in there. I am able to farm level three pretty effectively too. You can see this has better payouts, you know. You, you can get the, the really nice purple ones, the, 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 the uber ones or whatever. That's what I need to get to a star up four hero. And I'm not able to do that for fire. So my workaround is instead of farming fire to make my fire main character work, I've been farming her while she's a fire hero. She's been, I've been running her like this the way I need her to fit into my poison fire team. I've been farming the stage three of the frost domain like a clever guy. Because I'm doing that, now that I'm ready and I did farm all this up before, your boy's prepared, uh, we can star her up. So I can go to upgrade. I just hit, I believe it was journey level 23. I was not able to, to do this until then. So I've actually been sitting on this, sitting on this for a little while. But you can see now I can upgrade her. So we're going to upgrade her. Now she's going to go to four stars, my first four star hero. I say tangential tip, main character, awesome. Like I'm sure we'll outgrow her or him or them, whoever you're using a bit. But for now, I freaking need this. You can see I've been farming goblin like a maniac, getting that XP up. But yeah, because I did that, now she's four star. And now, <laughs> little workaround, she's fire again, what I actually wanted her to be. However, if I wanted to upgrade her again, and you know, if we were at 90, we would need fire materials. And I would just go right back to frost, at least for now, because that's what it's easier for me to farm. I think that's a great little workaround that hopefully will help a lot of people. My final tip is, as you go through this game, you're receiving currency that you might not realize you're receiving. So as you guys saw, when we just did those summons, I summoned a lot of dupe rares. In this game, they automatically crunch your duplicate heroes for you and you get currency. What you didn't, might not realize is you can go to the exchange over here and you can use that currency. So remember that Isatarian, I think that was his name. That's our five purple currency. So if we had enough, we could go to the Epic shop and look at that, I already can buy my, because I got a dupe Esoterian, because of that, I can now have, I can buy an Epic artifact. I don't have a single Epic artifact. That's huge. So I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm gonna do some research ask around i'll ask ivy and some friends and see what i should get however with the rares you get a ton and it costs 50. so basically every 10 dupe rares you get you're gonna i believe you get five every time I, I actually easily could be mistaken it might be more or less let me know if you guys know but you can see i've already bought three so three different times i had the 50 rare materials i needed and i bought them you might not even realize you can do this and then you might be missing out on artifacts and then you're just running nothing so if we go to my my, my team again and we go over here um you can see Let's see, who's a good example? Yes, here we go. We've got Mr. Nathaniel, my best hero, and he, I'm running him in this Troll's Heart. Wouldn't you rather him have a Troll's Heart giving him plus 33 defense, 12 resist, and it's giving him the wear 12% extra HP than having nothing, right? So don't sleep on those things. Another huge one, I was chatting with Jaygigs about this. This is something he told me about, and I, I don't know if I would have noticed it, but because he told me, I certainly did not not notice it. If you go to your uh, Psychic Core over here, you can see all the time through side quests, main quests, mission quests, all the different quests you have in this game, you're getting affinity solvent. And you can use that to update this affinity tree. You can see we've got this big overview. We can do it to help ourselves and everything. It starts out pretty simple. Heroes with level blah, 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 inspiration. We get all that bonus. And then it gets really good here, right? You get attack up, you get defense up. Eventually, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be when you have a three hero affinity team, like, so you're like the way I do, you run two fires and a poison. Uh, you're going to get these bonuses, right? 
Uh, so it's really, really nice to build that up. Later on, I think you get five hero affinity bonuses. That's really something you're going to grind towards. But do not sleep on this currency because it's sitting there. I think usually they do give you a red dot so you guys will notice. But you're just missing huge global boosts, right? By having done this, now I've maxed out all the, the bonus inspiration stuff. I've maxed out this attack up too. I've maxed up this defense up too. Do it. It's free. Do not sleep on it. Guys, those are my big tips. I'm definitely getting more into the game. It's definitely still a big grind. Staying on top of my daily stuff ever since those rough, like, first two and a half days or three days, it's less. I think I can still knock everything out now in, like, an hour and a half to two hours. But so far, this is not as casual a game as people had told me. I think it will settle in. But uh, stay on top of your stories, stay on top of your side quests, grind it out, farm your goblin. That's the most efficient thing to do right now. I actually did unlock goblin too. Uh, so that's pretty sweet. So we are able to farm the first level of Goblin 2. I'm just dumping all my stuff there. And yeah, I'm pretty prepared. I got some pots, 36 of the big boys, and that's a lot. 72 of the medium boys, 31 of the small boys. All in all, I think it's going pretty well. Guys, if you want to play Dragonair Silent Gods with me, it's absolutely not too late. Hop on it. You can download the link in the description or the top pinned comment. It's available on PC. It's available on mobile, on Steam, on Epic Games. You can join, and then you can join my alliance. I'm very lonely. I'm here by myself. One out of 50. Guild Stidious. I'll have that written in the description and the top pinned comment as well. All that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Share it with your mother. I'll see you real soon. Fast Didius.